Cheers everybody, welcome back to another beer review and in this one I'm very excited about because we're going to a brewery which really, well, one of the, the main brewers really got me into drinking beer. Um, we're off to Coniston Brewing Company. Um, I thought I'd already done this beer. I thought, ah, Coniston Brewing Company, I've, always, I've done all their beers. But I haven't. And we have got a bottle conditioned beer. I think most of their beers are bottle conditioned. And we've got a bottle of Old Man Ale. Clocking in at 4.8% ABV. I think they're in the midst of sprucing up their jackets on their bottles. Because their designs have been like this for years. I mean, <laughs> they've never changed. Um... And of course, they're very famous for the Bluebird Bitter, which is an, an ode to Donald Campbell's Bluebird uh, boat, which explode well imploded on Coniston Water. Um, so, I shall read the blurb. It says, Coniston Old Man is a rich, classic ale ruby, red in colour, with subtle yet strong fruit aromas, full-bodied, Balanced with a hint of the finest challenger, Hops Old Man is named, after the Lakeland Mountain, at the foot of which Coniston sits. Now, the mountain, you can see it. Once you see it, the kind of like etching of a face in, in its, in its kind of like, um, in its peak, you never ever not see it again. It's one of them things, you could, when you're driving towards the Lake District, you can see it. It's got kind of like you see a nose, you see a well, you see a brow, a nose, then it kind of like dips down a bit of a mouth and goes up again. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you've never been to the lakes, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, which is fair dues. If you want to know what I'm talking about, get yourself up to the Lake District. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Um, now I have just noticed something here. Which is bizarre. I'm trying to think where I'll pick this one up at. Where did I pick this bottle of beer up from? Because. I'm trying to think where did I pick this beer up from? It was over there, Penrith Way. Uh, where did I pick it up from? This beer. I can't remember where I got it from. It might come to me while I'm doing this review. But the reason why I'm asking myself that is because it's an American label. It's an import American label. Imported by Lion Ventures, Concord, California. So it's an American label, which I picked up in Cumbria. Oh, where is it? Where did I pick this beer up from? Where did I go the other week? We went... Over there, then we went over there. Where did we go over there? Did I go to Booths? I think I went to Booths. I think this came from Booths in Penrith. I think. Yes, yeah, so an American label. <coughs> Let's crack it open. There is the gold. Gold, gold. Always believe in yourself. <laughs> Right, the cask ABV is 4.2 on this, 4.8 in bottle. And it's pouring like a ruby, porty colour. For sure. Let's get the odds and sods, bits and bobs and whatever you, you know, whatever you, you know, the cluster nuts, whatever you want to call them. Get them all in. Get them all in like you do. There you go. Superb. Right, stick that there. Beer in a glass, as you can see. It is, yeah, slightly ruby colour. Nice, thinning white head. Carbonation-wise, hardly any carbonation. Any sediment in there? Not a lot of sediment. Maybe a thin film of sediment. Let's get the aroma. Berries come to mind. Slightly tartness there, for sure. Hint of caramel. It smells, it does smell rich. It smells like a cake, uh, even. It's, it's one of 
you know, kind of like uh, currants and raisins and stuff. I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Nice, smooth mouthfeel. That's grand. That is really good. That is really good. It's got slight hints of complexities in it. You, 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 first of all, it, it, it tastes very much like um, a normal, dare I say, a normal ale as you go in. But then it opens up. You get hints of berries. You get a nice, slight portness to this beer. And you get a slight toffee note there on the back end. Slightly bitter. Mouthfeel is nice and smooth. It's really nice. Nice body to the beer. It's packed out with flavour. Absolutely. I wasn't going to get a bad beer. <laughs> I knew, you know, there's some breweries you come across. Um, obviously, it's down to individual taste. But, you know, you're not going to get a bad beer from them. This is one of their, their breweries. It's, it's, you know, for me, personally, their worst beer is their flagship beer, the Bluebird Bitter. Um, for me, um, I think it's, they, they, they did the XP, the extra uh, version, the special version of Blackbird, uh, Bluebird Beer, not Blackbird, Bluebird Beer, um, which I think was their worst beer I've had from them. But everything else, it's been honest, it's been flavoursome. It, you know, you can't fault it. You really can't. I'm going again. Slightly creaminess to it. Do get a slight hint of cocoa or chocolate there. But overall, it's really, really nice. Food pairing wise, that is a beer to go with your roast dinner. That is to go with dark rich gravy, uh, roast beef, big, big Yorkshire pudding, roast potatoes. I'm getting hungry talking about this. <laughs> I'm going to have to do myself a roast dinner. Um, it is absolutely lovely. It really is. It's a joy. Beers like this are a joy. They're a joy to review, they're a joy to drink, they're a joy. Any time of day. One more for the road before I absolutely envelope myself in pure joy and happiness. Lovely, lovely stuff. Boys and girls, Coniston Brewing Company, Old Man Ale. Um, old Man Ale. There he is, says the old man. If you can. Uh, you don't have to be an old man to drink it like me. You could be a young whippersnapper. You know? Just turn 18. Make this your first beer. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. You are all stars. Well, you're going to be a star to bloody put up with the, the likes of me on YouTube. Anyway, and Mrs. Brown. See you on my next one. Bib bib.